Hello everyone, what's going on? I'm Gaff the Masterman 74 back again today and welcome to another Valve source code tutorial and today what I'm going to do is outline how you can add a weapon drop system into your source mod. Now I do need to give a thank you and shout out to warrior.png495 who's asked this for you know the last few videos now, to Memdick who also recommended this, the red face for talking about something that I'm going to be featuring in this video and also to Mazdo for mentioning something like this as well in private messages. So thank you to everyone for your comments and DMs requesting this or asking about this feature. So let's get into what you need to do to get this weapon drop system to work. So you want to go to your source mods SRC folder, open up the game's solution as per usual, and then you want to navigate to the server projects, go to source files and hl2dll, and then you want to open up hl2player.cpp and near the top of this file you should see a definition for a macro called hl2 single primary weapon mode. So if you search for the macro in hl2player.cpp you should see some of the features that get enabled if that macro value is set to 1 and as it turns out one of the things that gets enabled is the ability to drop weapons. So this is done with a con command called drop primary and you can find this inside of the chl2 player client command function. And basically to enable the drop primary con command in this context you just want to replace hl2 single primary weapon mode to just hashtag if1 or remove the hashtag if and hashtag end if lines so this functionality gets re-enabled. Now to actually be able to use the con command, for example, when you press a button on the keyboard, then you want to go to your source 2013 install directory and then go to the HL2 scripts folder and you want to copy over kb act.lst and for a step I'm going to get to later, you also want to copy over weapon RPG and weapon crossbow.txt and then copy those into your mods scripts folder. And then inside of kbact.lst, you can put this wherever you want to, but you can see where I put it in the video, that you just want to add inside of one set of speech marks, drop primary. And then in a second set of speech marks, whatever text you want, you can make it a localized string if you want to, or just have something in whatever language you choose. But what you can do at this point is save, compile the code and launch into debugging and what you'll notice is if you, for example in my case, press the G key that drops a weapon, it will actually drop all of the weapons in the bucket slot that corresponds to the SMG and the AR2 and it doesn't matter what weapon you have equipped, it drops the SMG and the AR2 all of the time. If you're wondering why that happens, it's because of the weapon drop slot function that exists inside of the drop primary if statement in the client command function. In its current state, the value is set to 2, so it will drop all of the weapons corresponding to bucket position 2, but because the bucket positions are based off of a 0 index, you'd have the crowbar and the gravity gun in bucket 0, the pistol and revolver in bucket 1, and the SMG and AR2 in bucket 2, so that's why those weapons get dropped exclusively. So to be able to fix this issue we need to implement the following changes. So above the weapon drop slot line but inside of the if statements with the drop primary you know con command thing as you'll see in the video, uh, I actually make a mistake in the video recording here so I'm gonna have to overlay like a screenshot of what you actually want to do, but you want to add if is alive and exclamation mark is in a vehicle. Then you want to add C base combat weapon called asterisk P weapon, which equals get active weapon. And then if P weapon, create an int called weapon slot, which equals P weapon arrow get slot. And an int called weapon position, which equals P weapon arrow get position. And then you also want to make sure that the weapon drop slot line is inside of this if P weapon if statement. And then you want to change the inputs from whatever's already there to weapon slot and then weapon position. Now this will show up as an error because this function is only supposed to take one input but we're passing through two. So we need to fix this. So you want to go to player.h, find the weapon drop slot function declaration and make it so it passes through an additional input of int weapon position as you'll see in the video. 
and then you want to go to player.cpp and do the exact same thing find the weapon drop slot function and pass through the second input of int weapon position and then inside of the if p weapon arrow get slot is exactly equal to weapon slot uh, you want to encapsulate the weapon drop line inside of an if statement that reads if p weapon arrow get position is exactly equal to weapon position and you'll see what i mean by that by just looking at the video right now so with these changes being made if you were to for example save compile and launch into debugging you should be able to drop the currently equipped weapon and that's the only weapon that drops however there's going to be an issue where if the weapons have magazines if you fire a few bullets out of the magazine then drop the weapon then pick the weapon back up the weapon will magically have its ammo filled so you'll have essentially ammo duplication which is not realistic and it doesn't reload ammo out of reserves or anything so if you want to fix this issue the best resolution that i was able to find was to inside of player.cpp find the bump weapon function and near the bottom you just want to remove or comment out the line that says p weapon arrow m underscore i clip one equals p weapon arrow get max clip one that way when you pick up a weapon it doesn't set the clip of the weapon to the maximum possible clip so that should fix the issue with ammo duplication however there's actually going to be some issues particularly with the crossbow frag grenade and the rpg with all of those weapons duplicating ammo now i think this might have something to do with the fact that their clip sizes are set to either one or minus one and it could also have something to do with their default clip size as well but i'm not 100 percent sure about that but essentially we can stop ammo duplication for these weapons that i've just listed so that's why i said you need to copy over the weapon script especially for the crossbow and the rpg because we want to change the default clip size variable in these weapon scripts to just be one that way when you get the weapon you essentially only get one rocket or one crossbow bolt to fire and you'll see what to do in the video here however for the frag grenades and the rpg we do need to make some minor coding changes so you want to go to weaponfrag.cpp and inside of the class definition you want to add a virtual void called drop passing through an input of a const vector called and vec velocity and you can add this anywhere but i choose to add it at the bottom of the file you want to add void c weapon frag colon colon drop passing through an input of a const vector called and vec velocity and in this function you want to say decrement ammo of get owner and then base class colon colon drop of vec velocity and then inside of weapon rpg.cpp you want to find the drop function and simply add decrement ammo of get owner into that function so if you were to save and compile and load into a map at this point you should see that you don't get ammo duplication of any kind when dropping any sort of weapon including the rpg crossbow frag grenades the ar2 smg pistol or whatever the situation might be now there is one little issue that you might experience which is where if you try to reload the weapon but then drop the weapon mid reload that it might cause some issues so to fix this the best solution that i found uh, you want to go to base combat weapon shared.cpp and find the drop function and this can go anywhere but i decide to put it near the bottom of the function and you just want to add m underscore b in reload equals false so by adding this line basically if you were to drop a weapon mid reload then it should no longer be attempting to reload the weapon and if you fire all of the bullets out of the magazine the weapon should automatically reload but if you drop the weapon during that process then when you pick the weapon back up it should automatically reload now there is one issue with the crossbow which i couldn't figure out and the animation looks a bit weird for it i don't know why that happens that's going to be an outstanding problem that i'm going to leave in this video and if you have any solutions or any you know fixes for that issue then please let me know in the comment section down below and that's pretty much all you need to do to add this weapon drop system feature so let me know what you think about the video i apologize if some of the audio is screwed up and if i don't sound too enthusiastic because sometimes i don't like doing these audio commentaries but as always take care out there peace out see you later hopefully you'll check out another video 
and I'll see you for whatever I decide to do next.